Welcome back to Comic Universe, the only nerd-centric thing you need in your life. DPZ rolling solo once again, and I am once again reviewing the another volume of X. We've now come to the third volume of this Dark Horse comic series. Hope you've all been enjoying it as much as I've been reading and reviewing it. And as always, this comes from our good friend from the channel, uh, the Mount Vernon Kid. Chris, I know you're watching, and uh, thanks once again. And yeah, I gotta say... Uh, this is the third volume he sent me. I know there's six, so Chris, I'm going to say this right out of the gate. Please send the next three soon. <laughs> because this left on such a big cliffhanger um, in the comic that I was like, wow. This is, um, X has been a fun, shut your brain off kind of grindhouse kind of series that I've been um, really enjoying as this character. There's not a, there isn't a lot to him. This is very much, like I said, a gr if you, this is a close to superhero grindhouse stuff. As you can possibly get with this um, uh, with this series, so this story arc is called, like I said, called Siege. And in here, a cr a crime boss named Carmine Tango has uh, launched a wave of uh, fear on the city of Arcadia, and X is caught in the middle of it. But he's also dealing with a lot of ghosts from his pa past because he is connected to Tango and his assassin that he has sent after him called Gamble. A man he thought he killed. Not to mention he's got a few other uh, rogue... He's got actually... X actually has a rogues gallery in this volume. That's kind of the thing, is that X kind of has a bit of a rogues gallery in this in this story. And um, as before with the Dogs of War storyline, um, there is a one-shot, but this one is more uh, to set up the rest of the other... The rest of the story. And it is a one-and-done a one done story involving a new villain called Death Wish, which actually is pretty cool. Death Wish is this hitman who accidentally killed his former mentor and believes that he will be, go to hell and let um, he can't take his own life, so he believes that if X kills him, it'll wipe the, the slate clean in the afterlife. Well, of course, X doesn't give that to him. So, from there, Tango brings in Death Wish to help bring down X. X's storyline in here is pretty good. We get more of his backstory in that we find out he was an orphan. But the thing is that while it's very clear that he that X is connected to Gamble, we don't know why um, X is you know did it's kind of X kind of says that he worked for me as a hitman, and there was some stuff there, but we don't know if it's true or not. But it is very clear that X and um, Carmine Tango are. Uh, connected. We just don't, uh, um, I guess I'll just have to wait till I get the fourth volume to expand further on said, um, storyline, uh, said, um, said connection. But the, uh, the character of Tango is really interesting in that he has kidnapped some guy who writes half-assed horoscopes and, be and actually believes that they have supernatural powers. Um, he also kidnaps, um, X's sidekick, Lee Ferguson, and what he does to her is horrifying. I'm not going to spoil that um, in here, but it's it's some really at the fucked up shit. It is, uh, this this is kind of fucked, to what they do to, uh, do to poor Lee. Um, but X, in, also X gets some pretty awesome kills in here, like he puts a sword through a guy's face right in front of some kids. Um, that's probably my favorite kill of this comic, uh, of this vo of this volume of the comic. Um, there's just some brutal deaths in here, and the fight between Gamble and X in one of the issues is awesome. It goes from exploded building into a broken down elevator. They fight through all through the building, and Gamble himself, Gamble as a character is really fun. He's very much like. He's kind of like if you mixed the X, uh, the Spider-Man villain Chance with um, Revolver Ocelot from Metal Gear in that, well, the aesthetic and the gambling kind of thing. You take those two, it's a weird combination, I know, but um, just follow me. It kind of, in a weird way, it makes sense um, in some capacity. Death Wish is pretty fun. Like I said, it's nice to see X actually have, after two volumes, actually have a form of, um, have some kind of form of rogues gallery. Um, I mean, granted, I have a good feeling that in the next three volumes you ain't gonna see him much longer, but, uh, for what, for what it is, it is cool to see all of these villains kind of standing over X while he's broken down and beaten, stuff like that. Um, so that was neat. 
Um, so I'm really excited to see where this is going to go. And Chris, I know you're watching this. I can't wait for you to send me the next three volumes because it's this is only a six-volume comic, so I'm really interested to see how this is all going to end um, for the next three volumes. So would I recommend X? Yeah, if you're look like I said, if you're looking for fun, bloody action, fun, bloody um, grindhouse type action, I highly recommend this. So yeah. So there's my review, guys. I know it's a little short, but hey, this is pretty. Uh, this is a pretty simple comic. I'm not right reviewing Watchmen here. So you guys. So if you've read the comic before, let me know in the comments below. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button here on the channel, and as well as hit the bell for notifications and share with your friends and family and those people who follow you on on social media. And we will see you here once again in the universe.